The late 80s, uh, Ryan was trying to be, you know, uh, he was a forerunner of kind of uh, trying to be a sort of a, low, a, a lower cost all service airline in a, in a marketplace where the all service airlines didn't make any money. So being a lower, a lower priced all service airline was a recipe for disaster. Uh, I strongly encourage Tony to close the place down. It would never, ever make money. Um, and to be fair to him, he was the one who said, look, there's this uh, interesting operation in the States called Southwest taking advantage of deregulation in the US market at that stage deregulation you know and it's often forgotten was one of Jimmy Carter's few policy successes uh, but it was absolutely transformative in uh, the US and all you needed to be was uh, in the US at that time in the mid late 80s seeing what Southwest was doing coming from uh, Europe which at the time was still the legacy airlines and uh, monopoly protections and Chicago convention bilateral agreements civil servants and rich business people flying around you know uh, paying ridiculous amounts of money and particularly the case of an island like ireland where then the only way on and off the island that stage by both this was clearly the future and europe would eventually follow deregulation so in many respects uh, it was a combination of being lucky in our timing and also uh, tony ryan's sort of um, you know bravery and fortitude in not following my advice and closing it down